Okay, for the next part of this video, I have to hold the camera for a bit. I'm going to show you my case is up there. Okay, this is actually the top of the case, and then that's the bottom over there. Um, I have my motherboard, my motherboard right here. And I'm going to show you how to install the motherboard into the case. Um, I have the motherboard outside the case, and I'm going to go ahead and give you a look of what you need to do to prepare to install your case. Alright, so you're now looking at the top and bottom. Okay, top of the case, bottom of the case. What you need to do is find out what type of motherboard you have, whether it's ATX, micro ATX, and such, and correctly install the standoffs right here. Okay, the reason why we have these standoffs is because you do not want the motherboard directly touching metal. Okay, that's a big no no. Um, pretty much. ATX looks like this, the standoffs, I'm going to show you, okay, ATX is like the standard size pretty much. We have three in the top, three in the middle, and three in the bottom, okay, and make sure these are screwed in, all you, all you do, watch. My case actually came with a nice guide to show you uh, where to put these, but all they are like these gold things here, okay, there we go. And all you're gonna do is find the hole that the guide tells you to put it in. And if you don't have a guide, go ahead and look it up uh, for your case. You'll have a manual. It should be in the manual of the case. Or, yeah, on the manual of the case. If you get a manual, which you may not. Okay, anyways. Or what you could do is look at your motherboard and see where these holes line up for it. Okay, because there's a bunch of different holes, like right here for micro ATX and stuff. Alright, once you have your standoffs all installed, what you have to do is go for the I.O. shield. And if your case already comes with one, go ahead and pop it out by pushing from out of the case in. Okay, and alright, then I will go ahead and show you how to install an I.O. shield. Now, make sure your shield lines up with how it should be, okay? Like uh, the holes, make sure they line up on the motherboard. Um, and then you're going to install it this way. You make sure you put it in the right way. Because if it's this way, the holes look like that. The motherboard's not going to fit in it, right? Okay, because the holes will be in a different arrangement. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down right here. Okay, and I'll go ahead and show you what to do. Okay, so here we have the IO show hole. Okay, and all I'm going to do is go ahead and get the shield and just. It in, okay, you're gonna push. Sometimes it could take a lot of force, sometimes it doesn't. Here we go. So I just pushed them all in. I'm sorry if the camera angle is a little confusing. I had no other way to do this. My tripod, you wouldn't have you have no idea what just happened to it. Just broke again. But uh I'll try to get that fixed. Anyways, so there you go. There's the IO shield. Again, make sure your motherboard, make sure the uh, orientation is correct. Or else the motherboard won't fit in your case. Okay, so now that we have the standoffs in the case, what we're going to do when we have the IO shield in, what we're going to do is actually install the motherboard. So let's go ahead and grab the motherboard. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and line up motherboard in the IO shield sockets here and we are also going to line up the motherboard push it in until it lines up with all of the standoffs okay so the motherboard actually has holes where you can see the standoffs and once you push it in enough you can kind of feel the standoffs um, line up okay so that's that that's installing motherboard and now what I have to do is go ahead and grab screws and go ahead and screw in each screw into the standoff okay so here's a little bit of a closer look here of what these standoffs look like um, when they're in the case I don't know if you can see but you can see the standoff right there and right there, okay. And right, where is it? Right there, okay. So pretty much what I have to do now is go ahead and get these screws. 
Okay, and just screw them in to uh, the standoffs so I can get that in focus. But I'll go ahead and do that off camera. All you have to do is get a screwdriver and put it in and screw it, okay?